Hi, it's Paul Hill from ITFlee.com, and in this lesson, we're going to be creating a virtual machine with VirtualBox. At this point, you've downloaded and installed VirtualBox, you've downloaded Windows Server 2016, and you've created the virtual network. Now, the next step is to create the virtual machine that will use everything we've created and downloaded so far. To get started, we need to open VirtualBox. So I'm going to pop that open. And we need to click the new button in the top left hand corner of the screen. Once the create virtual machine window appears, we need to click expert mode at the bottom of the screen. And that's because you're going to be an expert by the time I get done with you. In all reality, it just makes it less screens, but we'll call you an expert. So we need to type in the name of the VM and I'm going to type in IT flea because that's the name of my company and I just want to talk about it in front of you. <laughs> but you can call it whatever you want. You can call it, you know, your name, uh, your fake company name, whatever you want to call it. Or if you work for a company, you can call it that. It doesn't matter. It's not the actual name of the computer. It's just the name for the inventory of VirtualBox. Now, under the type, we're going to leave it as Microsoft Windows. We could choose Linux, Solaris, and so on. We're going to leave it at Windows. And under the version, we're going to choose server 2012 64-bit. You'll notice there's no 32-bit option for this. And if you're presented with only 32-bit options, as in you don't see Windows 7 64-bit or Windows 8 64-bit, if you're only presented with 32-bit options, that means one of two things. First, which is the best case scenario, is that you have a 64-bit processor, but you do not have virtualization enabled in your BIOS. If this is your case, then all you need to do is restart your host computer, Go into your BIOS and enable virtualization. Now I can't tell you exactly how to do that because I don't know what kind of BIOS you have and all the menus are different. So Google the name or the model of your motherboard in how to enable virtualization. If you fall under the second issue where you don't have a 64-bit computer or operating system, then you're kind of in a tough spot. What I recommend that you do is either use a newer computer that is 64-bit or you can create a virtual machine online with a service like Amazon's AWS where you can remotely access the virtual machine and it won't be hosted on your computer. I do believe you, you can get some VMs for free, but I do know that the certain options will require money. Now, I'm going to choose Windows Server 2012. Now, we are installing 2016, but VirtualBox has not added this to the list. Don't worry because the Windows 2012 option will work just fine. Under memory size, I'm going to scale mine to four gigabytes. So I'm going to dra drag the slider up and I'm going to stop it right around here. So that's four gigs. Now you can get away with as little as one gig if you don't have a lot of RAM. So your computer only has four gigs of memory. You might want to lower it to one if you think you need to, or you could probably leave it at two. If you plan on running more than one virtual machine at a time, you probably want to get away with just one gig of RAM. Under the hard disk, we're going to leave the create a virtual hard disk now button checked and we're going to click create. Now on this screen, we need to choose the file location. We're going to leave this default. It's going to put it in the same folder as the VM and we need to choose the size of the hard drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to 80 gigabytes. And under storage on physical hard disk, this is the most important option, the second most important. I would say that this is the most important option, but the second most important option is the storage on the physical hard disk. You want to leave it at dynamically allocated. And what this does is if you only have five gigabytes of data on the virtual machine, but you still set the maximum size to 80 gigabytes, that virtual machine will only take up five gigabytes on your host hard drive. So as you install programs and as you install software, the hard disk file that is stored on your computer will grow. If we choose fixed size, then VirtualBox will create a file that is 80 gigabytes in size, even if there is only five gigabytes of data actually being stored on the VM. So I'm gonna go with dynamically allocated and I'm gonna click create. Now we can see that my virtual machine, IT Flea, has been created and you should see the same thing. Now that's all we need to do to get this virtual machine created. In the next lesson, you're gonna configure the virtual machine and get it ready to install Windows Server 2016. Great job getting through this lesson and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.